Hi there. My name is Taylor Morton, and I'm the WEAC Environmental Health and Education Manager. And I'm here to teach you about environmental health. Uh, for today's mini lesson, you will need this PowerPoint presentation. Uh, it may be in the form of a PDF, as well as the worksheets that are uh, assigned for this lesson. So there's a mini lesson environmental health worksheet uh, with the learning targets and places to write down your answers as well. So let's get started. Our learning targets for today are first to understand what environmental health is, and second, to understand the relationship between environmental health and environmental justice. In our first environmental justice lesson, uh, we learned a lot about uh, what environmental justice is and how it impacts communities. And in this lesson, we'll talk about uh, environmental health and its relationship to environmental justice. Let's get started. So for a warm up question, what in your indoor environment impacts your health? Name three things. For example, when I don't clean out the filter of my air conditioner, it makes me sneeze a lot. Sometimes there's particles that get stuck in the uh, air conditioner and I have to, have to take time to clean it to make sure that I'm not breathing in those particles where I don't need to. So take a moment pause your video and write down in your worksheet what in your indoor environment impacts your health. When you're finished, you can unpause this video and we can move on. So let's talk about these two topics. What is health? What is environmental health? On your worksheet, take a few moments to answer these questions. Pause your video and write on your worksheet. And when you are finished, you can restart it and we'll move on. All right, so thinking about what is health, what is environmental health? Let's start with the first question. Our health is our state of physical, mental, and social well-being and not only the absence of disease. So really thinking about how our body feels, the state of our mind, uh, and the state of our uh, social relationships. What is environmental health? Environmental health covers the things in our environment and the things that surround us. These things can impact our health and our well-being and our ability to live up to our full potential as human beings. Your environment can be indoor environment, thinking about your house or your home um, and all of the things that you interact with every day, or it can cover uh, outdoor environment, which is more uh, communal things like the park, your access to a grocery store, your access to uh, any other type of service that you need, uh, the quality of uh, the natural factors there. Do you have clean air? Do you have clean water? All those things. So on that thread of health uh, and environmental health, we're gonna talk a little bit about air quality. Our air is made up of different things, oxygen, dust particles, and more. And we went, when we refer to air quality, we mean how the air will impact our health and the surrounding environment. If the air has particles that are harmful to human health, we call that poor or hazardous air quality. If the air has more particles that don't harm our health, we call that good air quality. Sometimes you'll even see on the news or on um, other informative sites, uh, folks will say that we have good air quality today and it's okay to go out and play and uh, be outside. Or they will also say, um, you know, we have really poor air quality and if you have any uh, health issues or if you're in a certain group, uh, then maybe you want to uh, lessen your time outside. Thinking about indoor environmental health. Indoor environmental health, uh, we think specifically about uh, indoor air quality, which is a, a piece of that, an aspect of that. Uh, and this refers to the air quality within and around buildings and structures, especially as it relates to the health and comfort of building occupants. So indoor air pollutants, we're thinking about things like pollen, pet dander, pest lead, pesticides, anything like that. Um, that will impact uh, your health, either short-term health, like a couple of days, 
or long-term health. You may even see with something like pollen that uh, this is considered, considered to be a seasonal environmental health issue. Uh, and how does the pollen get into our house? We open a window because we want some fresh air um, and it blows in from the outside. Uh, and so we may notice that by the window, uh, you may find uh, pollen particles or you may notice that when, the more you open the window, the more often you may sneeze. Um, and that's sort of a way that you really find out um, more about what the state of your environmental, uh, indoor environmental health. So how does environmental health relate to environmental justice? The status of our health and our environmental health impacts our life expectancy and our quality of life. As a whole, our personal health or the health of yourself as an individual and environmental health varies depending on our genetics or the traits that we inherit from our parents, how much money we make or inherit, pollutants in our environment, and access to resources like healthcare and nutritious foods. When we don't have fair access to healthcare, resources, or even information, our health can decline. We may not have money to go to the doctor. We may not have information on uh, new ways to eat the most nutritious foods or new ways to keep ourselves safe and keep our health protected. Environmental justice actions around healthcare issues can ensure that all people of all backgrounds have a longer and healthier lifespan. We want to make sure and to know that the right to living a long and healthy life is secure and that no matter who you are, you deserve to be healthy. We're going to now start a case study for grades six through eight. If you are in grades nine through 12, please skip ahead. Case study, Samira. Samira loves to play outside. She loves to play with friends in the neighborhood and she especially loves to play at her local park. Samira's family also lives near a factory that creates smoke and pollution. The question's here. How will Samira's health become impacted by her environment? What in your personal environment impacts your health? Take a moment to answer these questions in your sheet and pause your video. When you're finished, fast forward to the end. For the case study on Jonathan, grades nine through 12. Here's Jonathan. He's a kid who lives in the neighborhood and he finds that none of the stores around him sell fresh fruits or vegetable. The question's here. How does access to healthy foods relate to Jonathan's environmental health? How will a lack of healthy foods impact Jonathan's long-term health? What are some solutions for these issues? And number three, what are the solutions that you gave in question number two? Are they fair and accessible to all people regardless of their income? If not, how would you make them more equitable? Thanks for watching. If there is a related topic you'd like to know more about, please contact me at taylor at See you next time.